Spring has sprung, fellow Roblox enthusiasts. If you're hunting for an obby that's extra special, then you've come to the right place. I'm about to give you an honest review of the Spring Easter obby, fresh out of Dreamsy Studios. So hop on over, buckle up, and let's get cracking. As a little background, an obby is like the ultimate adventure where you run, jump, and climb slide your way through epic obstacles to reach the end and claim your victory. All right, let's break down these four exciting criteria we are going to use to review this Easter obby course. Design and creativity. The design and creativity of an obby course is like a canvas that sets the stage for an epic adventure where every element contributes to the overall immersive experience. Difficulty level. A challenging course keeps you on your toes, tests your skills, and pushes you to your limits. But the pacing and variety of obstacles must be just right to keep the adrenaline pumping. Third, we're gonna look at enjoyment factor. When it comes to an obby course, fun is the name of the game. It's not just about obstacles, but also unique features, surprises, and a sense of accomplishment when you complete the course. And fourth, replay value. The ultimate test of a great obby course is how much you wanna play it again and again. A good obby should have replay value with different challenges or outcomes each time and leave you feeling eager to conquer it all over again. Wowza, talk about a springtime spectacle. As soon as you start the game, you're transported to a park, bursting with Easter vibes and springtime cheer. And that first obstacle, it's like a parade of monarch butterflies fluttering their way across the screen. Get ready for a playful and whimsical journey, my friends. Whoa, man, talking about hopping into spring fever, this obstacle course was excellent, with about a quarter of the stages decked out in Easter and springtime themes. And those custom jump platforms, they were the Cadbury cream egg of obstacles. So sweet and oh so satisfying to conquer. I gotta say, I was pretty impressed with the amount of theme stages and how well they captured the essence of spring. It was like a virtual basket of colorful seasonal goodness. Get ready to rev it with excitement because I'm gonna tell you my favorite stages from this hobby game. The ducky jumps were quacktastic while the frog hops were riveting fun. And let's not forget the slide down victory lane. It was a slippery slope to triumph, but the creativity didn't stop there. I also got to bounce on comfy chair beds, nom on carrot cakes, and hop like a frog, among other wacky stages. The developer really didn't hold back on giving this obby game a unique twist and embracing the theme. They went above and beyond, which made me jump with joy that I decided to click and give this game a go. Although most stages were relatively manageable, there were a handful that tried to push my finger dexterity to the limit. Stage 21 was particularly intense, featuring moving platforms that demanded precise timing and balance to avoid tumbling off. I was generally astounded by this unprecedented challenge, and it left me with a newfound respect for the game's difficulty. Stage 36 was incredibly severe, as it demanded lightning fast reflexes and the ability to anticipate stripe hitboxes after completing those cross jumps. Although I was able to overcome this hurdle relatively quickly, I have no doubt that players using phones or tablets would struggle greatly with the unforgiving difficulty of the stage. It was a true test of skill and precision, and one that left me with a deep sense of respect for those who managed to conquer it. Stage 55 was an extreme test of my abilities, and despite having completed it in the past during the Valentine's Day obby, I found myself utterly disoriented by the mind-bending optical illusion of the seemingly moving platforms. It's impossible that the platforms were in fact moving, but the challenge was so intense that I couldn't even perceive it clearly. This was an extreme and daunting obstacle, one that required not only skill and dexterity, but also an almost superhuman level of perception and concentration. Hey, listen to this. You wouldn't believe what happened on stage 77. I had to land my jumps precisely on the white bars, but the real kicker was that my feet had to be on the same plane as the yellow platform. And this made it absolutely fascinating and challenging because as the jumps had to be executed with the utmost precision, it left no room for error. The slightest misstep or miscalculation would result in a respawn, adding a layer of excitement and tension to an already thrilling game. It was an incredibly engaging and interesting obstacle, and one that really tested both my skills and ability to adapt to new challenges. Recently, I had the pleasure of facing what I would consider the ultimate challenge in the obby, Stage 95. Uh, how could I forget you, Stage 95? This stage in particular really kicked my butt. The main challenge was maneuvering through the tight spaces to avoid the dangerous blue hitboxes. I found myself struggling to maintain my composure and had to invoke a deep sense of calm 
to avoid giving in to my frustration and possibly rage smashing my computer in response to the sheer difficulty of the stage. It was truly a test of both my mental and physical endurance and one that I will not soon forget. I must say the developer is really up their game with this excellent obby. They stuck to the 100 stage format allowing me to complete it in just under 30 minutes which let's be honest is perfect because who wants to spend hours on an obby? They fully embraced the Easter and spring themes, making it a cracking good time. I've got the urge to revisit this a few more times before the spring bunny hops out to greet us. And trust me, this is an extremely, extremely satisfying experience that you won't want to miss out on. So what are you waiting for? Hop to it and check out the spectacular obby. And hey, if you know of any unique or challenging obbies that you want me to test out, let me know in the comments down below. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll catch you in the next video. Exciting times ahead. <laughs>